Hello everyone, I'm Jung Hyun Kim, a PhD student at Aju University from South Korea. In this talk, I'm going to present our study exploring the design space of page management for multi-tiered memory systems. This work was done with Wang Gyo Choi and my advisor, Professor Jung Seok An. Recently, Intel and Samsung introduced a new type of memory to cope with the limited RAM capacity problem. These devices can be utilized as slow memory to build large scale memory systems. In this study, we use Intel's Optane DC persistent memory module as slow memory and conventional DRAM as fast memory for large memory machines. Such a storage class memory can be a viable solution to increase the capacity of memory. But there is a significant performance gap between DRAM and SCM in terms of latency and bandwidth. As a result, it is difficult to replace DRAM with SCM completely. Instead, we expect that future large memory systems will be comprised of both DRAM and SCM to form a tiered memory hierarchy. Let me briefly describe how the current Linux kernel has been modified to support Intel's DCPMM as main memory. This figure shows a traditional two socket system, and each socket has its own DRAM node. On top of that, the DCPMM memory nodes are attached to each CPU socket forming a multi-tiered memory system. In Linux, the different memory types are treated as different NUMA nodes. What I'd like to point out here is that, unlike conventional wisdom in NUMA, that remote memory is always more expensive to access, accessing the remote DRAM in multi-tiered memory system actually provides more bandwidth and lower latency compared to the local dish PMM. Since the page management schemes in traditional operating systems are highly optimized for DRAM-only NUMA systems, we can raise a question whether the memory management in Linux work well or not. So in this study, we revisit the design of current page management schemes with the multi-tiered memory system and figure out the source of inefficiency. Let me go through two problems that can occur in the traditional page management schemes from the Linux autonomous facility on multi-tiered memory systems. This figure shows that the local DRAM is fully occupied and presents three cases where the thread is accessing the remote memory nodes. Even with Autonuma, the pages in the remote memory nodes cannot be migrated to the local DRAM because there is no free space. Then Autonuma cancels the migration request and leaves the page in the remote node. Again, such a decision is reasonable in DRAM-only systems because there is no performance differences between remote nodes. However, in multi-tiered memory systems, we have several alternatives to consider when placing pages. For example, if the thread is frequently accessing the page in the remote DCPMM node 3, we can migrate the page to the local DCPMM node 2 or promote it to the remote DRAM node 1. Nevertheless, current Linux does not utilize such alternatives observed in multi-tiered memory system. Another limited support for tiered memory system in Linux is that current page reclamation does not consider the tiered memory architecture. The left-hand side figure shows that the application consumes all the local DRAM so that the remaining data is in the local disk PMM. In such a case, the data allocated to the lo lower tier memory may be frequently accessed. This graph shows the memory access frequency for graph 500 as time goes by. The dark red region indicates more frequently accessed memory region. In this case, infrequently accessed pages are in upper tier memory. On the other hand, relatively more frequently accessed pages remain in lower tier memory. Thus, we cannot effectively utilize the upper tier memory because current memory management scheme does not support page reclamation to lower tier memory. 
The current page of reclamation is designed for DRAM only systems backed by storage swap devices rather than slow memory. Okay, from now on, I'm going to present our approach to maximize performance of multi-tiered memory systems. Let's first look at how we exploit the access tier and locality of the tiered memory systems. We assume that the threads running on the CPU zero socket access the page on the local lower tier memory and the local upper tier memory is fully occupied. In this case, the operating system considers alternative places in the multi-tiered memory systems to move the page. Although we fail to promote the page to the local DRAM, we can promote it to the remote DRAM, which is faster than the local disk PMM. On the right-hand side, we provide another example where the accessed pages reside in the remote lower tier memory. In such a case, we have two options for page placement. First, we attempt page promotion to the remote upper tier. Although this does not satisfy locality, considering the memory tier is more important than the locality in terms of performance. Second, if the remote upper tier memory is also fully occupied, we try to migrate the page into the local lower tier memory. We call this technique as auto-tiering with conservative promotion or migration, shortly auto-tiering CPM. With auto-tiering CPM, we can provide alternative promotion and migrations for page migration failure due to fully occupied local upper tier memory. Although our con conservative promotion or migration can exploit the second best option while placing pages, it does not support reclaiming pages in the local upper tier memory. As a result, the full potential of multitude memory systems cannot be exploited. This is because the upper tier memory can hold infrequently accessed data, even though frequently accessed pages reside in the lower tier memory. To address the, this remaining challenge, we are going to introduce an aggressive approach of demoting pages to lower tier memory while solving the promotion or migration request to the local upper tier memory. Let me give you a running example for the page demotion in the local upper tier memory. If the thread access the page, which is in the local but lower tier memory, while the local upper tier memory is full, then we select the victim page for eviction from the upper tier memory. I will explain how we select the victim page in the next slide. Once we select the victim page, we can migrate the page to either the remote upper tier, the local lower tier, or the remote lower tier memory. The target memory node is decided by order of access tier and locality. After evicting a page, we can complete the promotion from the local lower tier memory to the local upper tier memory. We call this scheme is auto-tiering with opportunistic promotion or migration, shortly auto-tiering OPM. Since such page migration incurs significant performance overhead, we opportunistically perform the page promotion and migration. Then, let me give you a bit more detail on how we select the victim page. The goal of this process is to find the least access page in the upper tier memory. First, we attempt to find an inactive page from the file backed region. If such a page exists, we simply select that page. Otherwise, we look for a victim in the anonymous region. For page belonging to the anonymous region, we keep track of the access history for last n times as shown in this figure. To quickly find the least access page, we maintain a data structure to classify pages according to the least access page reference. In order to make the best use of the upper tier memory, we make sure that the page to be demoted from the upper tier has a lower access frequency than the page to be promoted. 
we don't want to promote a page that is less frequently accessed than the evicted page. That's why we call this opportunistic promotion and migration. In addition to that, we have a software optimization to hide the latency of demoting pages from a tier to low tier memory. By reserving a set of free pages in the upper tier memory, we immediately serve the promotion request and the demotion is conducted in background. Without such an optimization, the promotion can start after completing the demotion. On the other hand, we can start the promotion as early as possible. For more detail about estimating risk, the risk access page and hiding the demotion latency, please see our paper. To evaluate our proposed schemes, we built a two socket multi tiered memory system with Intel DCPMM and modified the Linux kernel version 5.3. We selected the spec Excel with OpenMP, GraphMap, Graph 500 and RIP linear. Let's first look at the speed up result. The X axis is the benchmarks and the Y axis shows the speed up compared to the default Linux. For most of the benchmarks, we can observe that our auto tiering can improve performance significantly. With auto tiering CPM, four benchmarks from spec XR improve significantly compared to the baseline. Since auto tiering CPM considers access tier as well as access locality, we can improve the effectiveness of page placement. In auto tiering OPM with background demotion, Graph 500, Graph Mat, Rip Linear, and P Mini Ghost from Spec Excel show further improved performance compared to auto tiering CPM. In particular, Graph 500 shows performance improvement of almost seven times compared to the baseline. The reason is that OPM can effectively utilize opportunity memory by demoting the risk access pages, and it allows frequently used pages in the low tier memory to be promoted. Let's look at the distribution of memory usage across nodes. The top of the graph indicates baseline Linux, and the bottom graphs indicate auto tiering CPM. We can see that the usage of low tier memory nodes, the CPMM node 2 and node 3, are balanced by auto tiering CPM. By satisfying the page locality in the low tier memory nodes, we can improve performance. Next, I'm going to explain how well our least access page classification works. This graph shows the page distribution with estimated access frequency in the baseline Linux. Darker color refers to pages that are accessed relatively more frequently. As you can see, the upper tier memory is less effectively used because many infrequently accessed pages reside there. On the other hand, with auto tiering OPM, we can promote frequently accessed pages to the upper tier memory by opportunistically demoting the risk access pages. It shows that the upper tier DRAM contains frequently accessed pages while demoting the rest frequently accessed pages to the low world tier memory. Let me conclude my talk. In this talk, we identified commodity operating systems are not mature enough to support multi-tiered memory systems. So we explored new page placement schemes to extract the benefits of multi-tiered memory systems. With simple and straightforward schemes, we achieved a significant performance speed up for diverse benchmarks. As future work, we will further optimize the performance overhead while migrating page from DRAM to DCPMM because the performance of write operation is limited in obtain like page change memory. Also, we are investigating multi-tenancy issue. When utilizing such multi-tiered multi -tiered memory systems in public cloud environments, how can it support the fairness of the memory allocation? This is one of the remaining challenges. This is the end of the presentation. 
and thank you for watching our video.